I'm Rick Bauer, and I'm the rector here at St. Edward's Episcopal Church. And we are celebrating this weekend the installation of this beautiful stained glass wall that retells the story of Jesus on the Sea of Galilee, the boat with his disciples. The why of this stained glass means a whole lot to this community. Um, for 20 years, Stephen Casey was the rector, the pastor of this church. And uh, you could not meet a finer English gentleman on the face of the earth than Stephen Casey. And about two years after his retirement as rector of this church, he contracted COVID and passed away. And as you could imagine, a pastor loved by a community who's been here for generations, um, there was a, a lot of mourning in this community, and it was a real crucifixion cross moment for the people of St. Edwards. And in his memory, in memorial of Stephen, folks decided that we wanted to tell a different story about his impact on the community. And through memorial gifts, we were able to transfer something of our mourning, of our lamentation, into a resurrection, rebirth story by putting together resources out of the love of our hearts and friends of our church to really create something in, in his memory and in his legacy. Well, the installation was remarkably fast, but the design and the effort put into this took about a full year. We were blessed to meet a gentleman named Martin Faith, who runs a company called Scottish Stained Glass based in Colorado. And about a year ago, we started having discussions about the story that we wanted to tell and how we wanted to do it. And this was a design that we came up with through a, a painter in-house at Scottish Stained Glass by the name of Maria. And eventually, as the idea evolved, it took about six plus months to hand cut and hand paint each panel of stained glass. But the trip from Colorado to Lancaster happened in about three days. And then the installation only took him about two days. So in the stained glass, you'll notice that there is a man of color. There is a woman on the boat with Jesus. Um, I think when we, we read our scripture, our imaginations are often limited by the people we see participating in that story. But it's our hope that this glass invites us to wonder about how we all have a place as disciples, as we all have a role in, in God's kingdom. So independent of, of the shade of our skin or our gender or the ambiguities of those things, being able to come into a church and see something of yourself represented in stained glass, I hope is, is healing and invites everyone to say, I, I'm a part of this story too.